I am so excited about today because we get to talk some more about money. And if any of you are visiting us for the first time, you're like, I visited this church for the first time and they're talking about money. What a terrible Sunday to come. No, actually, this book here, we gave away free copies last week. And so if you weren't here last week, you so totally missed out. And we ran out. I'm sorry, because there were a few people who didn't come last Sunday, but they came to a life group. And so they got one of the books then. So if you missed out, you're going to have to make a friend who has one. Uh, but we have these life groups that are going on during the week. We have two on Wednesday night and two on Thursday night now. And I would really highly encourage you to be a part of the discussion, even if you didn't get the book. If you did get the book and you forgot to write down last week what your assignment was, this week, go ahead and write it down. It is reading chapters 3 and 4. Reg, I mean you. Yes, chapter 3 and 4. So we're going to be reading chapters 3 and 4. We're going to be going through it in our life groups as part of the discussion. And then what I'm talking about today is sort of along the same principles, but not exactly following the pattern of the book. We're going to be talking about money. We're going to be talking specifically about tithing. And so I wanted to just kind of give you a little bit of background of where this is coming from. This is not me saying, I want your money. This is not our church saying, I want your money. This is God saying, I want your freedom. I want you to be free. God says he wants you and me to live lives of enjoyment and freedom and purpose and to be unencumbered by the shackles that money can place on us. If you wake up in the morning and you think, oh my goodness, I need to go to work so I can make some money so I can pay my bills, then money has a stranglehold on you. If you've got debt over your shoulder, constantly peering over everything that you do, then money has a hold of you. And all I want to do is give you a couple principles today and over the next couple of weeks, too, of how we can be liberated from our money. Last Sunday, I showed you this chart, and we focused on what it means to receive Jesus and how he is actually at the source and at the core of what we need because at the core of all of our money problems is our desire to have the things God has not given us. God gives us things and we choose to pursue the things he hasn't given us and that's greed or something along those lines. And so we learned that last week we need to receive Jesus and have him cleanse us on the inside from all those things. Today I want to teach you how to receive your 90%, the, the portion of wealth that God has put into your hands and allows you to use it freely and with purpose. And in order to do that, we're going to talk through a few specific things. And, and I want you to have your note sheet ready and your Bible ready because we're going to do a lot of reading. We're going to do a lot of following along. And so I want you to track with me. Make sure you've got your note sheet ready and you've got your Bible ready. And then let's pray together and just ask for God to give us his wisdom as we go through this morning's message. Heavenly Father, we do pray that you would guard the words that I speak and the thoughts in all of our hearts and make everything that happens here this morning something that would be holy and pleasing to you, something that would bring you honor and glory. For you're our Redeemer and our Savior. You're our Healer and our King. You're our portion and our delight. And we praise your name this morning. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. When I was a kid, I played a board game with my family. In fact, my family and I played lots of board games. This was before the advent of the VCR. Uh, yes. The, now, they had them in high-tech facilities, you know, like television studios, but we didn't have them in our homes yet. I am that old. And so we didn't have a VCR. We didn't have cable in my town where I lived. And so all we had was the antenna thing on the roof, and board games. And so we played Career. Have any of you played the game Career? Career's an amazing game. We have like one person who's played Career. It has a nice orange box and a really boring board, and I don't even remember the pieces or any of the stuff that was in it, but what I remember is you all had a little pad of paper and you had to track how many stars you got. And you could receive stars or hearts or something else. I can't remember what the other thing was. But you would get fame, money, and happiness. And the point of the game was to acquire as much of one of those as you could. And so if you were pursuing fame, you wanted to get as many fame stars as you could. If you were pursuing money, you wanted to get as many dollar signs. I think that must have been it. And then happiness was the hearts. And you could choose which avenue you wanted to pursue, but the one at the end of the game who had the most fame, money, and happiness was the one who would win the game. 
And I do not remember, I could be wrong on this, but I do not remember any single square on the career board saying these words. Gain happiness points by giving away 10% of your money to a local church. It wasn't on the board. And it, there was nothing about, you know, gain fame by influencing this world for the cause of Christ. It wasn't on the board. And there was nothing on the board that said, use your money wisely by investing in the kingdom. It didn't say anything like that. It was just, who dies with the most fame, money, and happiness wins? Okay, so we played that game quite often, but my sister and I actually like to play a different game more often, that was the game of life. And even though in the game of life, you make sure that you have children. You get this little plastic car and you fill the car with children, all kinds of little pink and blue pegs, and you drive that little car around the board, and I'm talking about the old version of life, not this silly namby-pamby new one that's out there now, but, but that old one, my sister somehow acquired $3 million in one of our games and set a family record. Now, to this day, I still don't know how she cheated, but it was amazing the number that she came up with at the end, and so we had $3 million that we wrote down in the box top, but I don't remember a single square on that board saying, make sure you give 10% of this paycheck to your local church. It wasn't there. So maybe a different game. Maybe I needed to go to the most popular of all money games, which is, of course, Monopoly. When I played with my sister as a child, my parents outlawed the game because of all the arguments that ensued as a result of the attempt to exchange various properties for others. You've played the game, I know. It is the most popular financial game, at least sold in America, maybe even worldwide. And when my wife and I got married, I thought to myself, I am mature enough now to handle this game. And so I registered for this game at Target, and someone bought it for me. It is the deluxe edition, which has all kinds of cool stuff in it. But that wasn't enough for me. See. I wanted the Star Wars edition too. And so what I'm going to show you, just because I know all of you love Star Wars as much as I do, I'm going to show you some, some shots of what the Star Wars game looks like on the inside. This is the board. And you can see that if you, if you look really closely, there are no railroads. There are TIE fighters. Yeah. And, and, and the Millennium Falcon over here and other ships and stuff. And instead of having boardwalk and park place, you have different regions on Coruscant. The, the, okay, you don't care about all that stuff, I know. But here's another shot that I just thought was kind of cute. That's, that's Darth Vader fighting Obi-Wan Kenobi while C-3PO watches. Isn't that cute? And they're just so, so cute. I, I love them. Made out of pewter. Anyway, so here's, I want to show you a couple cards from the game. 